Okay, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Mr. Dan. Today, we are going to make some uh, garlic and vinegar mushrooms. I know it sounds crazy, but it's a delicious dish. Uh, I got this recipe from uh, on the internet somewhere. I think it's called Spain on a fork or something like that, but it's, it's good. It's a nice recipe. It's easy. It's quick. It's tasty. You guys are going to love it, so let's get to it. It's a great side dish. Well, if you like mushrooms, you could probably eat a whole meal. <laughs> okay, so today I'm going to use my uh, cast iron skillet. I got it right now just like keeping it warm for right now. And then I'm going to use a butter spray and uh, extra virgin olive oil spray. Uh, that's, how, that's what I'm using for me and Penny. So anyway, got a measuring cup. We're going to take apple cider vinegar, that's going to be our vinegar, and we're going to use that because that's healthy. We're going to take about a quarter of a cup of that, probably a little more. We're going to grab a couple teaspoons of garlic, and we're going to mince it more than what that is. This here is uh, my parsley. I already cut it up. And this is some red pepper flakes. That's my twist on this. And then here's some mushrooms that I've, qu I've quartered because they're pretty big. See, I, I rinsed them off and wiped them down and everything. So I'm cutting them in quarters. Uh, the original recipe called for 12, 12 mushrooms and you, you just cut them in half and I think he used white mushrooms or whatever. Uh, I couldn't get none. So anyway, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to just, I saved a few of these here mushrooms just to show you. I'm just going to, I broke a couple of them and I was cleaning them. <laughs> so we're just going to cut them in, in fours. Like I said, if they were smaller than this, these happen to be the only ones Penny could get, so, but I think their stuffing mushrooms are so dang big. But that's okay, we get around that, cut them in fours, right? If you like mushrooms, like we do, you're going to love this. So anyway, there's not many ingredients to this dish at all. As you can see, what I showed you is what it is. And, uh, comes together pretty quick. Uh have a couple minutes of cooking time uh, but you know you got to cook them so anyhow let's get to it all right we got the mushrooms are done I'm putting these off to the side right we're just gonna leave them right there in the, in the bowl okay all right now we're gonna let me rinse this off a little bit Okay, now we're going to take uh, we're going to take some minced garlic. I didn't have a clove yet, so we're going to take uh, two and a half teaspoons. Let me get uh, my little measuring buddy out of here. I got two of those. This is one teaspoon. See, one teaspoon. So we're going to take that. I'm going to try to drain off some of the juice and put right on the cutting board because I'm going to mash this up a little bit more, like I said. Uh, the reason I'm using saying two because recipe calls for uh, five heads of cloves and garlic. So, uh, and each head, each clove is one, t one half teaspoon. So, I'm using two and a half. That'll give us what we want, right? There's a half right there. All right, so that being done, that being said, but you guys didn't know a half a teaspoon was a clove of garlic, huh? Okay, so now, wait, let me. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of uh, kosher salt. I don't have any more sea salt. I used that all the other day. So, we're going to just take a little pinch of this and put it right in with your garlic. Okay, and that's going to help us to give us a little bit of uh, grinding power here, so to speak. And then just push away with your knife, see? See how you can, almost becomes a, into a paste, you see? Now, if you had a mortar and pestle, you could have done that. But this is just as easy. And you can do it this way with fresh garlic also. 
Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to put that right into our measuring cup. Okay. Next, we're going to get some of our apple cider vinegar, about a quarter of a cup. I'm adding a little bit more because that wasn't quite full. So not too much, but just enough. Because what we're going to do with that, once we get it, once everything gets going, we're going to be cooking that off. So, okay, so now we're going to take some of our parsley. Take a couple, couple good uh, clumps of it, like two tablespoons maybe. <laughs> All right. Then we're going to mix this together in our little uh, measurement cup, and that's going to be our gravy kind of deal. Okay, so that's what it looks like. See how it's kind of green, and we're going to mix that in with the mushrooms once they start to cook. It, all right, so we put that on the side, and everything's done now except for the red pepper flakes, but you'll see where those are going to go. Okay, so our frying pan should be kind of warm already, huh? Got this on medium heat, medium high. Okay, now we're going to take our mushrooms. Now, I do have a lot of mushrooms here, but we're just going to put all those in there. Try to get them as close to a single layer as possible. And try to get them where you've got a cut side down. Okay, you want to get that, get that cooking a little bit. I don't know if you guys can hear the sizzle already, but it's sizzling. So we're just going to try to, what we're trying to do is uh, get one side or these, these uh, cut sides down to get them a nice golden crispy kind of deal. Not crispy, but you know. Okay, come on. Hang on. I could do this just as easily with my fingers without burning myself, I hope. And we're just going to let these babies sit there for a few minutes without touching them, trying to get them to cooking, you know what I'm saying? This thing is pretty hot. I don't understand how come I'm not burning my fingers. <laughs> Pan's hot. But I had, you know, I think I had way too many mushrooms, but it's all good. We're going to do this in a timely manner. We're going to cook them about five to maybe six minutes on each, on each uh, open end. And uh, I think they'll be fine. They're doing good. These are going to shrink down a little anyway. Everybody knows mushrooms. And if you don't, I'm here to tell you, they're going to shrink down a little. I can already smell that mushroomy smell. Nice. Alright, we got just about all these mushrooms down where they belong, or how they belong. So, yeah, I think we're pretty good here, huh? Turn this one over. Okay. So, now I wanna, the reason I did the two sprays, because uh, we don't use the real butter anymore. We use a spray. So, I'm, this is the butter spray. I'm spraying this on top. So, we're going to let this sit a few minutes, and uh, we'll be back, okay? 
Okay, it's been about almost six minutes. I'm going to check one. Yeah, see that color? I haven't touched them, see? That's just what we're looking for, something like that. I'll try another one. Yep. See how they're coming along? So what I'm going to do now is we're going to just move these around in the pan a little bit so that they don't get blank, as it were. If you like the if you like the smell and taste of mushrooms, this is it, boy. This will put you right over the top somewhere, huh? <laughs> so we're on the way here. My daughter's just coming in. So we're gonna cook this about another four or five minutes, and then we're gonna add our little juice okay we'll be back okay so now we have uh, mushrooms are just about where I like them I just tasted one so we're gonna take our dressing now and just pour that all over our little mushies huh look at that that looks good <laughs> Got a nice smell to it, too. And not to, we're not forgetting, we got to add some of our pepper flakes. Now, if you don't like the heat, stay out of the kitchen, but if you don't like the heat, you don't have to add these, okay? It's not too bad. Penny will say something to me, I know. But we're just going to mix this up. Now, what we're going to wait for, as a matter of fact, I'll turn this up a little. Uh, what we're waiting for now is the mushrooms to, we want all this liquid to like, basically disappear. <laughs> now that wasn't a cold liquid either, that was room temperature from the word go. So, we're just going to let that cook down and uh, we'll be back. Da -dum -bum. Okay, guys, there we have it. It's pretty much done. As you can see, all the liquid's just about out of there. And the smell, the aroma, not the smell, I want to say smell, but the aroma of these things is outstanding. My daughter tried one. She liked it. Uh, Penny tried one. She liked it. I didn't like it. I loved it. Oh, you loved it. Sorry. Okay, so anyway, uh, we're going to plate this up, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, there we are plated up. Uh, what you're going to do is just give a little bit more uh, fresh parsley right on the top like this. <laughs> Makes it look cute, don't you think? <laughs> Green is not my color. <laughs> okay, so there you are. Uh, our garlic and uh, vinegar mushrooms. Uh, give me a couple minutes and we'll see you at the taste test table. Well, I hope you all can see me. <laughs> Camera girl left me high and dry again. But... My daughter got, oh, never mind. Anyway, these things smell delicious and, mmm, whoa, mmm, mmm. <clears throat> this is very tasty. If you like the vinegary taste, vinegary, vinegary flavor, this dish is for you. Mm. Mushrooms are cooked to perfection. You get a little hint of the garlic, not that much. I could have probably put more in there, but. Mmm. Mm. Alright, one more bite, and then Mr. Dan is gone. I got a mess to clean up. Huh? Mmm. Really are good, quick and easy. I mean, overall time, prep time and everything, cooking, I don't know, 25, 30 minutes maybe. But anyhow, give us a like, share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't yet. And when you do, a little notification bell will pop down. You hit that, and that will notify you each time we have another video come out. 
Uh, there's an arrow down, but an arrow down button at, uh, right below the video. You hit that. That'll give you the drop down box. It'll give you a link to Mr. Dan's uh, Cooking with Mr. Dan Facebook page, a link to my daughter's artwork site, and also give you the complete recipe and how we did this here recipe. So. Stay here, my friends, and when you are, come back and we will give you another delicious dish just like this. And this thing is good. So uh, I'll say thanks to uh, Spain on a Fork, I believe is what it was. Uh, I looked at a few of them. Uh, only thing I did different that he did, the only thing I did different than he did was I used the cooking spray and I also uh, put hot, my hot pepper flakes in there. <laughs> so, mmm. It's delicious. This is Mr. Dan saying stay safe and we'll see you on the next video.